Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Gracie 1516 Curette. This is an area specific Curette uh, that is used just like the Gracie 1112. So um, the 1516 Curette is only for the mesial surfaces only of posterior teeth. So you are going to use it on molars and premolars, again, on mesial surfaces only. And because it is a Curette, it has a rounded till, and you see that the face tilts at a 70 degree angle to the lower shank. And this instrument is great for moderate to heavy calculus removal, especially in those hard to reach areas. All right, so now let's get started started. So before we begin, we need to establish the correct working end. And one way to do that is if you place the instrument straight in between the two premolars. Here you can see how the lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. And it creates a bend here that looks like a V that is pointing towards the distal aspect of that first premolar. So now you can tell that this is the correct working end. It also hugs the mesial. So if I were to put it on the face of the tooth here, it would hug the mesial and the point will not be sticking out. So now again, if I were to use the incorrect end, you see that I even if I try to angle it so that the lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth, you're still going to get that V pointing towards the mesial of that first premolar, and that is incorrect. And if you were to place it on the face of the tooth, you see that the tip points outward, okay? So again, you wanna make sure that you have the correct working end. Now for this instrument, you have to make sure that you are using the toe third, so the side of the of the instrument and a little bit more. Okay, so just the toe third, so just about that much of the instrument. That is going to be in contact with the tooth surface at all times so that the point is not sticking out and you do not lacerate the tissue. All right, so now let's get started. So I'm going to start at the distal line angle, okay, and I'm going to insert the instrument into the pocket, and then I'm going to activate the instrument, making sure that I am trying to keep the lower shank as parallel as possible to the long axis of the tooth, and rock on your fulcrum so that you could get that 70 to 80 degree angulation for calculus removal as you go into the interproximal space. Now this is a subgingival instrument, so you wanna make sure that you stay subgingively. Use some overlapping strokes, nice and controlled strokes, and go straight into that interproximal space. and making sure you are rolling as you are coming into that line angle. As soon as you're approaching that line angle, make sure you continue to roll. And that is how you use the 1516 uh, area specific Gracie Curette. If you like this video, please hit like and share and subscribe and stay tuned for more.